Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to speak about layers in Photoshop. Let's start from the beginning. The first thing that Photoshop is creating for you when you start a new project is your first layer. Usually it's named background and it is a white color, but of course you can change that in the settings when you are starting your project. In case you started your project with an image, the background layer will be the image itself. By default, the background layer is locked and in case we want to unlock it, we need to drag the small little chain icon to the trash, which will change the name of the layer and will make it unlocked. Once we unlocked the background layer, we can now move it and when we move it, you're going to see this checkboard, which in Photoshop means transparency because we have nothing under the background layer. Before we continue, I think it's important to clarify what exactly the layers in Photoshop are. Every layer in Photoshop contains information separate from the other layers. And I say information, not an image, because the layers can be also shape layers, adjustment layers, text layers and many others. Which mean that we can make adjustments to one layer without applying it to the other layers. Now let's speak about the layer panel. The layer panel contains all the layers that we have created in our project and they are ordered by their visibility. So the layer on the top will be the most visible and the layer on the bottom will be visible only on the parts that it is not covered from the layers above. In the same layer panel are some of the most important layer settings such as the blending modes and the opacity of the layer. The blending modes, as you probably guessed from their name, are our helper to blend the different layers together. The blending modes create effect on the chosen layer, which transforms to the layers below. And the blending modes are very dependent by the colors of the layer that they are applied on, but also on the layers below. So even if you use the same blending mode, the same colors, but on different pictures, it will create totally different look. And the opposite is also true if we have the same picture and the same blending mode, but we are using different layers that we are blending, we will achieve totally different results. In the layer panel, you also see that all the layers have a little eye icon. This icon controls the visibility of the layer on the final project. So if we deselect the icon of a certain layer, nothing applied on this layer will be visible on the final project. I think I will go in depth of the blending modes in some future video, but for now it's good to know that they are there and they are helping us to blend the different layers together. As I mentioned, there are different types of layers. For example, if you start typing a text, you'll see that Photoshop creates another kind of layer only for the text. This is text layer. The same is going to happen if we start creating shapes with the rectangular tool. Every shape that we're creating will go on a separate shape layer. But no matter that this is different kind of uh, layers, the same Adjustments and settings will be applicable also for those kind of layers as well. You can see that the blending modes are the same, they are stocked on the same layer panel and everything what we previously said will be applicable for those layers as well. I also want to point you the layer menu which gives you many options. From there you can create new layers, you can rename, uh, change the style. The layer style is one of my favorite menus in Photoshop because you can uh, create many small adjustments that make a big difference in the final project. I will only mention the most important in my opinion. Uh, I like usually to use the drop shadow option, especially for text layers. I also use the outer glow very often, which creates kind of glowy stroke effect on your layer and I really like it. And also the stroke effect itself which creates a border around the layer. 
from the same layer menu you can create adjustment layer uh, you can group the layers you can lock the layers and so much more stuff you're able to do from this menu I'm not going to be able to go through everything in the layer menu in this tutorial because it would just stretch the time so much. But if you're interested to see that, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to create tutorials specifically for this menu in Photoshop as I really think that this is a very helpful menu in Photoshop. So let's briefly go through everything we learned today. The first thing that we learned is that layers contained information. They can be text layers, shape layers, adjustment layers, normal picture layers and so on. The second thing we learned was that on the layer panel, the order that the layers are ordered in is very important as the top layer will be the most visible and the layer on the bottom will be visible only on the places where it is not covered by the layers above. We learned that the eye icon lets us hide or show specific layer in the final project and we learned that there is a layer menu which contains many many nice options so i hope this tutorial was helpful for you i hope you learned something new and you understood the layers in photoshop a little bit better now if so please like the video comment with your questions or your suggestions and uh, subscribe for my channel for more photoshop tutorials and don't forget, I have a Photoshop group in Facebook, so if you want to join us, the link will be in the description box.